Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. I've got my hand embroidery finished. Yay! And it looks super, super delicate and pretty with the tone on tone. Now you notice I got lots of little circles from where I had to move my little embroidery hoop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm not gonna iron it on the embroidery side, I'm gonna turn it over. Cause I have learned through the years that if I iron on the back side, it doesn't smash my embroidery. Now I've got my ironing spray that I use. I mix a half a cup of potato vodka with three cups of distilled water and about half a teaspoon of scented warming oil. Mix it together, put it in a spray bottle and shake when you're using it. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a little spray. Okay, now one thing I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna iron the two end dots away. So I'm just gonna iron this and the spray starch takes those circles away real nicely. And also the blue lines from the pin will disappear. Just iron it till it's dry. Okay, that turned out really, really pretty. Okay, and I've left my blue marks on either end because I need them for the next step that we're gonna do, but which we're gonna do that back in the sewing room. Okay, so I've got that ironed and I'm back here in the sewing room. As I'm measuring my lace, I've got a piece of half inch wide insertion and half inch wide edging that I'm gonna want to add to the side of the bonnet. And so that means I need to remove about one inch of fabric, but I also need to leave a one quarter inch seam allowance on either side for the entree. So I'm only gonna take off three quarters of an inch. So at the center marks, I did a little bit of math. I'm gonna mark, I'm, I'm lining my center mark up with one of the whole inches and I'm simply gonna mark an inch on one side and an inch on the other side. So I have three marks that are two inches apart, like starting at zero, one, two. And I'm gonna do this to the other side too. Just line up my center mark and mark at the whole one inch away from either one of my center marks, both my center marks. Okay, now I can draw a line from my two inch marks. Now this gives me about a quarter of an inch um, seam allowance for my entredeau, and then still I'll have about one quarter of an inch before my embroidery starts. Okay, now I've got to, to, now I've got I've got that marked. It, it's I've got a two inch band marked in the center, and that gives me a little bit of seam allowance for my entredo, plus a little bit of space on either side of my embroidery. Now I'm going to use my other piece, my other rectangle, because this is a tea cap bonnet, and it needs to have a back that comes out of it. Okay, so I only need half of this, so I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm gonna finger fold it here at the center, which will give me a crease in the center. And using my fabric cutting scissors, I'll simply cut on that crease line. Okay, I only need to keep one of these to go in the back of the bonnet, so I'm gonna throw the other one away. Okay, now I took off, now the, both these pieces were three and a half inches wide. I took off three quarters of an inch on this one, but I'm gonna take off an inch and a half, do I wanna take off an inch? Let me think about that. 
Sorry about that. I had to go get my pattern. Um, according to my pattern, the back piece is supposed to be two and a half inches wide. So if I cut this one at two inches and it's going to end up being three and a half inches wide, I need to have one less inch. So I need to cut a one inch strip. I could either do it in the center, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut one inch off of one side. So with my fabric marking pen, I'm gonna line up the edge of the rectangle and draw a little dot at the one inch mark. Do the same thing on this end. That looks like a pretty thin piece of fabric, but uh, once we add two inches of lace to it, it'll widen back up again. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna put an X on the piece that I'm not keeping, so I will remember, okay? So in the next video, we're gonna start preparing the lace to go on the backs of these bonnets. Okay, so I have my top side piece trimmed. I've got my back piece trimmed. It looks a little bit narrow, but it will get wider once we add the lace insertion lace edging. Uh, but this is what we were doing in this video. We were ironing the we were ironing the top. We were measuring to so we knew how wide to trim it. And in the next video we'll start preparing the fancy lace panels for either side of the bonnet. Thank you.